Well, in an effort to spawn the next generation of Kevin Martins and Cheryl Bernards, the Canadian Curling Association brought its Rocks and Rings program to Victoria today. Instructors walked several youngsters through the ins and outs of the game, and the sport was very well received. Now, here we are at Brayfoot Elementary earlier today. Check out the throws and the equipment. It looks a lot like shuffleboard here, but those are really mini curling stones with little wheels on them. <laughs> now, after a few tosses, the kids uh, took in some relay races of high-speed sweeping and then a little disco. Curling and disco go hand in hand. Now in its third year, the program has introduced curling to over 100,000 kids across our country, but the students at Brayfoot are the first on Vancouver Island to participate. Started in uh, Toronto, I believe, um, and it's in uh, all throughout Canada now, and it's uh, really grown uh, a lot. Just just starting out the first week in Victoria, but it sounds like it's going to uh, just grow right, quite rapidly. It's super fun, and I want to be curler. Yeah, it's really fun. I've never tried it before, so it was kind of fun to try anything. As long as every student comes in and has a great time, I think that's, that, that ought to be a great success. You want some for home, you said? I think they're fantastic. Can you imagine? Okay, I'll talk to Keith Dagg. Set that up in the hallway? Love it. Get you looked after.